How does work-related stress affect sexual life? What are the most unusual sexual practices around the world? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Work-related stress can reduce sexual desire, cause performance issues, exhaustion, and fatigue, create conflicts in the relationship, and lead to emotional disconnection. The impact varies among individuals, but stress management and open communication can help preserve sexual health amid work challenges. Sexual practices vary widely worldwide and may be considered unusual in certain cultures. Examples include body suspension in some BDSM subcultures and the love bed in Japan. What is unusual in one place may be common in another. Age fetishism. Some individuals experience sexual attraction towards people of certain ages, either towards young adults, juvenilism, or towards older individuals, gerontophilia. Alternative and complementary medicine. Some alternative and complementary therapies, such as acupuncture, herbal therapy, and massage therapy, have been used to treat erectile dysfunction, although the scientific evidence of their effectiveness is limited and variable. In some Amazonian communities in South America, knowledge about medicinal plants and traditional practices used to treat sexual and reproductive health issues, such as infertility and infections, is transmitted. In certain Amazonian communities in South America, sexual education is transmitted through myths, stories, and ceremonial practices passed down from generation to generation, integrating sexuality with worldview and relationship with nature. Anal sex and pregnancy. Anal sex does not lead to pregnancy, but it is important to practice contraceptive methods if the couple does not wish to conceive. Ancient history. Sex toys have a long history dating back thousands of years. Artifacts have been found from ancient Greece and Rome that are believed to have been used for sexual stimulation. Anorgasmia is the inability to achieve orgasm. It can be caused by physical or psychological factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Anorgasmia and hormonal therapy. In some cases, hormonal therapy may be helpful in treating anorgasmia caused by hormonal imbalances, such as menopause or low testosterone in men, anorgasmia, and masturbation. Some individuals with anorgasmia may be able to experience orgasms through masturbation, but not during sexual intercourse with another person, suggesting possible psychological or emotional factors involved. Anorgasmia and pain disorders. Some individuals experience pain during sex, which can hinder the ability to reach orgasm, Effectively treating pain disorders can help improve sexual response. Anorgasmia and physical exercise. Regular physical exercise can help improve sexual function and reduce symptoms of anorgasmia by increasing blood circulation, reducing stress, and enhancing self-esteem. Anorgasmia and sexual education. Lack of adequate sexual education and understanding of normal sexual response can contribute to anorgasmia by creating unrealistic expectations or myths about sex and orgasm. Anorgasmia and sleep disorders. Sleep disorders, such as sleep apnea or insomnia, can negatively affect sexual function and contribute to anorgasmia due to fatigue and lack of energy. Anorgasmia is a condition where a person has difficulty achieving orgasm. It can be caused by physical or emotional factors and is often addressed with sexual therapy. Association. Between stress and vaginismus, vaginismus is a condition where vaginal muscles contract involuntarily, making penetration difficult. Stress and anxiety can trigger this problem. Atypical symptoms. Sometimes, STDs can present atypical symptoms that may be confused with other conditions, making accurate diagnosis difficult without specific tests. In indigenous communities in Australia, sex education may be integrated into the teaching of Aboriginal history and culture, transmitting knowledge about sexuality in a contextualized and respectful manner. Authenticity. 
being authentic and showing oneself without pretending to be someone else can be very attractive to many people. Benefits of morning sex. Having sex in the morning can have health benefits, such as reducing stress and improving mood. The release of oxytocin and endorphins during sex can provide an energy boost. Bioluminescence. Some marine organisms, like certain jellyfish and deep sea fish, can emit light during reproduction. This phenomenon is known as bioluminescence and is part of their mating strategy. Body acceptance. Foreplay can be an opportunity for women to practice self-acceptance and self-love by allowing themselves to feel pleasure and enjoy their bodies without judgment or inhibitions. Body exploration positions. Some women enjoy sexual positions that allow them to explore and caress their partner's body in more detail, increasing the sensation of connection and mutual pleasure. Breast size and desire. Studies have shown that there is no significant correlation between a woman's breast size and her ability to arouse sexual desire in others. Attractiveness is subjective and varies from person to person. Breathing exercises. Practicing deep breathing and relaxation techniques can help reduce anxiety and tension during sex, which can contribute to delaying ejaculation. In some native communities in Canada, sexual education programs led by elders and traditional leaders have been developed, integrating ancestral knowledge about sexuality with contemporary approaches to public health and well-being. Cared for skin. Healthy and well-cared for skin is often considered attractive, reflecting personal care. Celebration of female sexuality. Foreplay is a celebration of female sexuality in all its forms and expressions. It allows women to explore their bodies, desires, and pleasure freely and without judgment, promoting a positive attitude towards sexuality. Cervical sensitivity. Some women experience sensitivity in the cervical area during certain sexual positions, which can cause discomfort or unease if penetration is too deep. Cinematic adaptations. Several films have been inspired by the Kama Sutra, exploring its teachings and visually representing its sexual positions in a stimulating manner. Clitoral size. The clitoris is an erectile organ containing over 8,000 nerve endings, but only a small part is externally visible. Most of the clitoris is located inside the body and extends to the base of the vulva common practice in partners of all orientations. Anal sex is not limited to heterosexual relationships. It is practiced and enjoyed by people of all sexual orientations. In some rural communities in West Africa, theatrical performances and puppet shows are held to educate young people about sexual and reproductive health topics using creative and participatory methods. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.